In this video, I talk about Alexandra Zinchenko as apparently he's now a doubt for the game against Palace. And I also talk about Emil Smith though as Aston Villa are apparently interested in him. I also touch on some more news around Del Nene, Raya and Thomas Partey. Starting off with the news about Alexandra Zinchenko and it came from Simon Collins with Standard Sport. He says that Gabriel Jesus is hoping to be back in the Arsenal squad for Saturday's game against Crystal Palace but Zinchenko remains a doubt. He also touches on other players saying that Arsenal are reluctant to put a day on Julian Timber's return as he will not be rushed back. Arsenal hope to have Gabriel Jesus back in the squad but Thomas Partey is making a good recovery as well but Fabio Vieira is still due to be out for a few more weeks. So on those little injury updates we all know Julian Timber he's now back on grass doing some ball work very good news but you know he's still going to be out for at least a month and probably a little bit after that. Not even in full training yet so you know Julian Timber is not going to be ready for quite a little bit of time. Gabriel Jesus he was back in training in Dubai so I would imagine he'd be in the squad against Crystal Palace might not start maybe because of precaution but I do think he'll be in the squad so that's good news Thomas Partey is making a good recovery looks like Palace might just come a little bit too soon for him but he is set to be in the squad against Nottingham Forest in a couple of weeks so that's very good news there and Fabio Vieira looks like he's going to be you know a little bit longer than Thomas Partey but again shouldn't hopefully be too long but the main one there is obviously Zinchenko uh, he didn't play against Fulham and didn't play against Liverpool in the FA Cup and that was due to an injury people were wondering doing you know is this going to be severe is it not looks like it's not too bad as he's just a doubt and it doesn't look like it's a long-term injury I don't think he might not play against Crystal Palace which will probably you know leave us to Jacob Kiwio as Tomiyasu is obviously at the Asia Cup with Japan Kiwio at left back he's not been too bad I mean to be honest he actually against Fulham wasn't really great against Liverpool in the first half though I thought he was pretty good making a couple of overlaps and you know doing pretty well second half not so much and scored a pretty poor own goal as well which pretty much cost us the game so again not the most you know ideal option there looks like kiwi was going to be our only option though because who do you play unless you just grab somebody out of the academy but i don't think arteta will do that so i would fully expect kiwi to play left back if zinchenko obviously isn't fit i know zinchenko hasn't been playing you know great recently but you know that's probably a team thing as the whole team hasn't been great and obviously zinchenko he's our only you know valuable left back at the moment we have nobody else there you know properly at the moment i should say and we obviously have loads of their uh, injury concerns especially in defense so let's just hope he's back as soon as possible as you know it's just good to have an option there don't know if he'll be back for Nottingham Forest I do think he hopefully will and hopefully will be okay against Crystal Palace without him but yeah just hoping that he'll be back as soon as possible but at the moment in time he is a doubt for Crystal Palace have to wait and see what Arteta says in his press conference that will obviously be on Friday you know his recovery could you know have a setback but it could also uh, speed up so I just have to wait and see what uh, Mikel Arteta says about it but at this moment in time it looks like he's going to be a doubt and might not play it against Crystal Palace Palace. Moving on to the next piece of news which came from Talk Sport about Emil Smith Rowe. They put out an article saying that he could leave Arsenal to make a Premier League switch and when you look at it, it looks like Aston Villa are the interested club in Smith Rowe and his development is being monitored by many clubs. So we all know Smith Rowe's future is very much up in the air. We don't know if he's going to stay this January, probably this January to be honest, but in the summer things could easily change. Had his injury concerns, you know that's obviously very, a very valid excuse I should say, but you know still not been playing ever since he's been back. Back, not even getting decent little bench cameos just coming on for a couple of minutes and that's really it so it's clear Arteta doesn't you know rate him highly at this moment in time I don't know if he's going to want to keep him though because I just don't see the point if you're not going to use him don't think anything will happen this January as you know he wants to keep the squad together but in the summer I could easily see Emil Smith though leaving the club would be a little bit upsetting because yes you know he was one of the people who helped Arteta you know keep his job uh, when he was in 15th around December a couple of years ago and he's obviously from Hale End and you know had a very good good journey as well so it would be a little bit disappointing but I do get it if we were to sell him in January again probably unlikely but I do think it's more likely in this summer who would you want to sell to do you want to sell you know Aston Villa a player even though they're doing very well I don't know that's a little debate but me personally I'm not against it if they put up the right money Unai Emery obviously knows Emil Smith though so he'll know a little bit about him and it wouldn't you know surprise me apparently Newcastle are like the player as well so Aston Villa being interested you know it's nothing too surprising doesn't mean they're going to make a move or anything it's just that they're looking at him at this moment and like the player probably have to wait and see if anything develops from this i do think he'd be good at aston villa don't know if he'd you know start all the time but probably will get more minutes than he would at arsenal at this moment have to wait and see though nothing fully coming out at this moment it's just that aston villa do have an interest in him apparently and are keeping tabs on him moving on to some other news coming from fabrizio romano who says that the david raya deal was always going to be permanent at the beginning but they had to change the structure of the deal because of ffp but 
Brentford decided to help Arsenal with that and the deal will be made permanent, it will be soon and from what I've heard it's already agreed so I don't know when they will make it official. So David Meyer, we obviously got him in the summer, uh, people thought it would be permanent but apparently it was just a loan according to David Owenstein and then that was officially confirmed. People were thinking oh it's just an option so if he's not good we can just send him back however it's become more clear that it's basically our option to buy kinda. Not even option, more of an obligation now because you know Brentford always thought Arsenal were going to uh, buy him permanently and Arsenal did want to do that but they couldn't because of FFP so Brentford basically said okay cool we'll just loan him so you don't have to pay for him now but next summer we'll want the money and Arsenal pretty much agreed to that so if people were thinking oh it's just an option we're not going to buy him permanently I don't think that's going to happen I think you know he David Rye is pretty much going to become a permanent Arsenal player for bits of Romano saying that from what he's heard it's already agreed so maybe he's just waiting on Arsenal to make it official so you know nothing's going to change now in my opinion don't think Arsenal can just say actually we're happy with Ram so you can have him back I don't think that's what the you know deal's about and I think Raya will become an Arsenal player permanently as I just said some people aren't going to be happy with this because they prefer Ramsdale and I do understand you know Raya hasn't been amazing you know been okay recently but again hasn't been absolutely outstanding some people saying it's not even an upgrade at the moment and I can fully understand that so I understand why people think we're wasting a bit of money but Arteta really likes him you know that's his new number one now and Arteta wants to buy him permanently so I guess it is what it is and you know he will be coming to Arsenal just have to wait and see when it will be made permanently I don't know when you know maybe they might just wait until the end of the season maybe they might do it during the international break maybe they'll do it any second now just have to wait and see Lyle will obviously continue to be number one in Arsenal's goal I imagine until the end of the season and then he'll become a permanent Arsenal member so you know I have to wait and see when it will be official but it's pretty much a done deal Alex Cook again uh, he was saying that Arsenal might have to move on a couple of players to get players in and his interest in Mohamed Elneny from Turkey and Saudi Arabia also mentions that they'd cash in on Thomas Partey if they could and I'm keen to see what they do with Smith Rowe because I think Aston Villa's interest is still there. So Smith Rowe and Aston Villa I obviously just touched on that a potential player that could be moving on especially this January window but in my opinion I don't think so. However Mohamed Elneny is this one that could potentially happen you know Arsenal I don't think they'd want to keep him too long as you know I don't I think they want to get in another midfielder so Elneny would just go down the picking order more so would he even want to stay I don't think so this January again I'm not sure if this will happen he is fourth choice central midfielder though so I don't think that you know it's a disaster if he goes to be honest but I think he might want to stay especially because he's at AFCON at the moment so I don't think you know he'll be negotiating with any other club because he wants to concentrate with Egypt to try and win that so I don't think he'll move in January there will be interest in him from these kind of uh, countries as well so maybe in the summer more realistic but in January I don't think so same with Thomas Partey again you know people talk about he's very close returning to Arsenal and I don't think he's going to go unless Arsenal get like a silly amount of money which they could use to replace him I don't think he's going to go I think he'll stay until at least the summer because yes he's injury prone and yes we do want to move him on eventually but you know in January if you can't get good money for him then you may as well just keep him I think I think that's what Arteta and that are thinking in the summer I don't think he's going to be here beyond that yes he is a fantastic player on his day but let's be honest you know all the um, injuries he's had is very very frustrating basically not being available pretty much all season for us because of the constant injuries and let's hope he can you know help us with, uh, with these last few months and stay fit and then that's when I think Arsenal and Arteta will want to move him on but as for the, these two I think these two will stay but I'll be very surprised if they're still here at the end of the summer window but that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below what are your thoughts on Elneny and Partey would you be willing to let them go this window or do you think we should wait until the summer or would you like to keep one of them David Raya what are your thoughts on this it looks like he will be staying at Arsenal permanently and do you want this to happen or are you against it Smith Vole do you want Arsenal to sell him or do you think you're open to selling him to Aston Villa Zinchenko as well if he is a doubt for Crystal Palace would you like to see Kibio there or maybe you have another player in mind make sure you check out the other videos I did where I talked about Joshua Zerki as Arsenal are monitoring him and also Marquinhos as he's been recalled from loan but as for this video make sure you smash a like on it make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you in the next one.